A lot of people take intimacy and they think sex, but intimacy and sex are completely different. So I describe myself as a queer cocktail. Romantically, I identify as aromantic and sexually, I identify as gray ace and bisexual. So it's like shaken, not stirred, shots, 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 shots. Just like everything else, asexuality is a spectrum. My name is Daily South, I'm 33 years old and I am a polyamorous, panromantic, gray sexual. So gray sexuality is on the asexual spectrum. It essentially means someone who rarely ever experiences sexual attraction. Hey, my name is Brie and I use she, her, or they, them pronouns and I identify as asexual, but if I'm being specific, I would say I use the label panromantic, demi, asexual. Panromantic means I like people of all genders and then the demi asexual part is I have to have like a very deep connection in order to like someone, like I'm not really gonna have a crush on someone I just like based off their aesthetic appearance. Some people may have thought I could have been lesbian, but my partner is a beautiful, tall, blonde, Swedish man. That doesn't seem queer until you realize I'm asexual. When I experience sexual attraction for me, I actually don't feel it genitally like most people would. Most people would have a reaction of some kind. I feel it actually in my chest. I'm like, oh my goodness, I just need this person. When I see someone, I'm not like, whoa, I want to have sex with them. I'm like, wow, like I want to like deeply get to know them and like learn everything about them. Like there's not a thought in my mind that's like, whoa, I even like want to like kiss them or something. I'm just like, whoa, like let's walk around town. Most of the time I experience aesthetic attraction. Like I know with my eyes, that people are attractive or beautiful or sexy, but when it comes to the sexual feeling, my brain starts to make the windows error sound. Like there's just, it's just not there. Most of the time, imagine that I see the world in black and white, right? And then I'm just randomly doing something, randomly walking down the street, and then like somebody walks past me and they're in full color. Uh, that phrase is very interesting. I believe I don't need that to know I'm asexual because I it's like an ingrained feeling just like if you are a guy who likes women like you don't need to get with a guy or something to know you're not straight I have definitely had some really good just really good sex <laughs> like some like fist pump dump the Gatorade kind of sex Yes. I have definitely had good sex. My husband is, is quite the, uh, the sex fiend. Um, I am in a, a polyamorous relationship, so some of my partners are actually hypersexual and do enjoy having a lot of sex. It's great for my partners to be able to have other partners that might have the same type of libido that they have. You know how like sometimes you go to a restaurant, like this is maybe a once a year place we go to because I get indigestion, but it's great at the time. That to me is what sex is like. Maybe I want it every once in a while, but I definitely do not want it as much as my partner wants it. Personally, I have not had sex or really had any desire. I'm a sex positive asexual, so if I were to be in a committed relationship or something with someone I really liked, I would be down, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to like have sex with someone. Do I masturbate? Yes, I do. I have a whole like, cubby full of toys. I'm a toys enthusiast. Being gray ace, I do feel sexually turned on, but not to participate in sex with someone else. It's just, I want to have that feeling on my own. And I do. Yes, I masturbate all the time. Have you ever played a video game with yourself and like you had total control over everything was happening? You didn't have to defer to anybody until like, oh, I guess we gotta work as a team on this. I do masturbate, maybe once a week uh, at most. And masturbation for me is just to fulfill a need. Like I'm horny, I'm gonna masturbate, five minutes out of my day, good to go. I have, but I don't really have any desire to do that I guess that much like especially in the same way that person who is like allosexual would masturbate or something like I don't have sexual thoughts looking back there was this moment when everyone's like oh my god do you like ever have dreams of kissing boys or something like that and I was like 
Um, like, absolutely not. Like, no. My telltale signs was like being repulsed, like not understanding why I had such a visceral reaction to like, Ugh, no, don't touch me. Or just going long periods of time without ever even thinking about hooking up with people. And society is mostly heteronormative and rewards people who are into the what I call flamingly heterosexual. It's like, we have sex, we're gonna have children, they're gonna go to prom, it's gonna, we're gonna graduation ceremonies and we're all gonna ski together. I'm not part of that, but I tried and it always felt wrong. So on some level, I kind of always knew. When I was like 16 or so, I remember Googling, like, why don't I feel sexual attraction? Or like, why does everyone else Blah, 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 blah. And I found asexuality as a term through the AVEN Asexual Visibility Network and through that and seeing some like Tumblr and like quizzes and stuff about whether or not you might be asexual, I was kind of like, okay, this is something that really resonates with me. I found out that some people like actually go to a bar or go out with the idea that I'm gonna find somebody to hook up with. And I'm like, I have never really left my house feeling like, oh yeah. <laughs> so I think like my genuine just disinterest in sex in general was like an alert to like, hey, you know, check me out. I feel that being asexual has actually opened up more because I'm being more honest with myself and not feeling like I'm like three kids in a trench coat at parties going like, yes, fellow heterosexuals, I too am here for sexual shenanigans. I started noticing, okay, I don't need sex. I don't think about sex. I think about intimacy. And a lot of people take intimacy and they think sex, but intimacy and sex are completely different. You can have intimacy and sex coincide, but for me, I don't need sex to have intimacy. My asexuality has not been a problem in my relationships. I've had very supportive partners. I wouldn't say being asexual has made my relationships have any problems or anything. I feel like it just made them more complicated and some people just like completely reject me after hearing that because they think I will never have sex with them or something, which is probably true. Donovan? Yeah. Can you come in here for a sec? Hi, handsome. Hi. I have been with Eve for five years. Five years. Five years. We're in a polyamorous relationship. So I have another partner. I kind of had a, a feeling that Eve was asexual or that something was going on. And then when she came out, it was like a relief to me because I kind of realized, oh, this is her, this is her truth. So the more, I feel like the more people can be truthful about who they are and what they want and what they need, the better. And I love Eve, so I want her to like have her needs met the same way she wants me to have my needs met and then we can all be honest. I've always thought, yeah, you can be loving and give your partner exactly what they want instead of saying, this is what you have to settle for because again, heteronormative narrative says that two people together forever because that's what we think is stability. Luckily, we found the perfect person to be in our relationship with. It's hard to find somebody who loves Bob Fosse as much as me. <laughs> and we found one. Hi. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jeffrey Lord, and I am a polyamorous, panromantic homosexual. About a year and a half ago, we started like hanging out more, and we started kind of like building a relationship, and he had come out as gay. It was kind of hard for him at first, because he is a gay man, and he's not sexually attracted to women, he's sexually attracted to men. Yep. And so I was like, okay, well, what else is there? Is there something else there? And that's when he came out as panromantic. I'm, I could be in a romantic relationship with pretty much anyone. Yeah. I just, I'm only sexually attracted uh, to primarily men. to men. So. Yeah. And I'm not really sexually attracted to anybody, so it works. <laughs> it works. We want to inspire people to be themselves and love who they love without fear. Yeah. I guess just an assumption is that asexual people can't have relationships, which is so not true. Intimacy and stuff like that is still present in a lot of asexual relationships. Like asking backhanded questions to discredit my identity as a gray ace person, like, but you have sex though. And it's like spectrum. What part of the spectrum don't you understand? As someone working in the sex industry, I get a lot of questions, well, how can you be asexual and work in the sex industry? Like, that just sounds like, you know, you're, you're faking it or you're being fake. And I'm like, sex industry is a job. It's a job. If you're watching porn and you think everyone in that porn is like, woohoo, this is the best day of my life, the best sex ever, then you're 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 gonna be sorely mistaken. Just because I'm asexual to me, I don't I don't have like sexuality. I feel like people have a stereotype of what they think an asexual person should look like or behave like. So me being the thirst trap that I am, 
when I'm like, oh yeah, I'm great A's, they're like, liar. <laughs> we get a lot of comments like, there's no way you're a virgin. Oh my God, so you're a virgin? Whoa, so you've never had sex? A lot of like virgin fetishization, I'd say. And like just hearing like virgin, even though I'm saying like asexual, I feel like people think of those as synonymous, but it's definitely not always the case. I wish people would have told me that just because society doesn't think you have power, you have power. I wish that I knew that asexuality was a thing. I can remember like middle school, high school, my friends were all like hooking up and stuff and I was like buying action figures and dolls and stuff still because I was just like not interested in entering that part of my life. I feel like I wish I just knew that asexuality was a thing at all. Just making asexuality more of an open conversation would be great and just so people are aware of it. It's normal and it's okay and it doesn't make you a bad spouse, it doesn't make you a bad partner, it doesn't make you a bad person, it just makes you you. I dealt with a lot of feelings of brokenness as if the way I was existing or experiencing connection was wrong. Once I realized that there were like so many people who were just like me having the same or similar experiences, it kind of really helped me unpack all of those things that I internalized about myself. Community is everything. You're not broken, nothing is wrong with you, and you're perfect just the way you are. If you think you're on the spectrum, explore it. See what saying no feels like. People feel like we owe it to other people because that's just, again, it's the heteronormative narrative in our society. See what it's like to reject that. And if it feels comfortable, maybe you're just queer in some way. This world is, is not black and white and it's, it's okay to be something different than the norm.